Hello and welcome to Daily Prayer on Wednesday the 16th of December. My name is the Reverend Paul Lavender. Welcome to prayer uh, coming to you from Mount Pleasant Baptist Church and in our worship space here we're glad to welcome you today. Please would you bow your heads with me now as we begin our time of prayer by remembering the Lord's presence with us now. Psalm 56. Be gracious to me, O God, for people trample on me. All day long foes oppress me. My enemies trample on me all day long, for many fight against me. O Most High, when I am afraid, I put my trust in you. All day long they seek to injure my cause. All their thoughts are against me for evil. They stir up strife, they lurk, they watch my steps. As they hoped to have my life, so repay them for their crime. In wrath, cast down the peoples, O God. You have kept count of my tossings, put my tears in your bottle. Are they not in your record? Then my enemies will retreat on the day when I call. This I know, that God is for me. In God whose word I praise, in the Lord whose word I praise. In God I trust. I am not afraid. What can a mere mortal do to me? My vows to you I must perform, O God. I will render thank offerings to you, for you have delivered my soul from death, my feet from falling, so that I may walk before God in the light of life. We thank God for his words to us today. Now, please join me as we pray together. Let's pray. O God of peace and Lord of love, help us to be quiet and relaxed in your presence now, accepting the inpouring of yourself by the Holy Spirit, so that in the depths of our nature and being, your healing grace may take from us any anxious cares any unworthy thoughts, and all ingratitude. And Lord, we ask for your forgiving power to, he to heal and cleanse us where we have failed to support one another and to be what we claim to be. Forgive us when we failed to serve you and where our thoughts and actions have been contrary to your word. So may the Lord forgive us, pardon and deliver us from our sins, give us time to amend our lives, and bring us the grace and the comfort of the Holy Spirit. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Bible reading today comes from the book of the prophet Zechariah, chapter 8, beginning to read at the first verse. The word of the Lord of hosts came to me, saying, Thus says the Lord of hosts, I am jealous for Zion with great jealousy, and I am jealous for her with great wrath. Thus says the Lord, I will return to Zion and will dwell in the midst of Jerusalem. Jerusalem shall be called the faithful city, and the mountain of the Lord of hosts shall be called the holy mountain. Thus says the Lord of hosts, old men and old women shall again sit in the streets of Jerusalem, each with staff in their hands because of their great age. And the streets of the city shall be full of boys and girls playing in its streets. Thus says the Lord of hosts, even though it seems impossible to the remnant of this people in these days, should it also seem impossible to me, says the Lord of hosts. Thus says the Lord of hosts, I will save my people from the east country and from the west country, and I will bring them to live in Jerusalem. They shall be my people, and I will be their God in faithfulness and in righteousness. Thanks be to God for his word. Excuse me have a sneeze but I think I can pass it by. 
These words in Zechariah speak to us of God calling back to the holy city a remnant. This is an exilic test text. Get the word out. Text. It speaks of God gathering His people back and uh, placing them in Jerusalem, in Zion. It's been a time of great disappointment for the people. They've been longing to return. And this, the pictures here of old men and young alike being there is really about the impossible because um, old people would not survive well in exile and children would be forced into either to slave labour or families would not be able to support them. So there might not be children around. This is a picture of God restoring family life. This is of God doing what seems to be impossible at the time. And now, in these days, Zechariah says God's going to do it. Why? Because he loves his people and he wants to be with them, as it were, in righteousness, in faithfulness, and he will restore them from the west and from the east. This again has been taken to be a text whereby it's true, not only at the time it's written, but it speaks of something of the work of the Messiah, who we believe as Christians to be Jesus Christ our Lord, coming and redeeming his people and doing the impossible amongst people and for people and restoring the fortunes, as it were, of the places where God is honoured. And wouldn't it be great if in our homes and in our lives and in our communities this Christmas we learned afresh what it is to honour God and to seek his presence so that family life may be restored and that what seems to be impossible with humans is deemed by God to be more than possible because of his faithfulness and his righteousness. Let's confess our faith together in the words of the Apostles' Creed. Please join with me if you're able. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Please join with me now as we pray together. Let's pray. Thank you, our God, that your world is full of beautiful things and your Holy Father who provides richly for our needs. Thank you for your provision and your perfect will that we should enjoy the world and the life you've given us. Lord, hear us for those caught in the spirals of poverty, disease, unemployment, violence and deprivation. Help us not to misuse our privileges or to rest content until we've done our utmost to help all who suffer. Thank you that your desire is to bless all people. Help us to forward that purpose today. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. In the next few days, we're going to be praying for prisoners, people who've been imprisoned for their faith around the world. And today we pray for 27 Christians who were jailed in Eritrea and those who were released on bail have now been sent back to national service. We ask for God's protection over them as they may well find themselves in times of persecution and oppression. May God restore and sustain them during these days and be with their families. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And then as we continue to pray for Christians in Bangladesh, we pray that God would encourage 
the many young women and men who are responding to his call to train at the Christian College of Theology in Bangladesh. May God confirm their calling and equip them to serve the cause of Jesus Christ in our country and indeed wherever he may call them. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Now we pray for ourselves and for any we know and love, especially in need of the Lord's Prayer at this time. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. So may the Lord make our love increase and overflow for one another and for everyone else. May the Lord strengthen our hearts so that we will be blameless and holy in the presence of our God and Father. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon us and remain with us always. Amen. God bless you today and keep you safe. Until we meet again for prayer tomorrow. May the Lord keep you in his will. A reminder about our word for the week, which will be going around out at about 12 noon today. But until we meet again to pray, goodbye.